Oh, that's kind of fucked up. It seems like he fucking knows exactly what he was talking about. One of the weirder times when when people look back historically about the division in this country. He's such a polarizing figure that so many people felt like they could abandon their own ethics and morals and principles just to attack him and anybody who supports him. What the fuck? Bro, what is he saying? Like, we're talking about Donald Trump, man. What do you mean? First of all, people do not have ethics and, and uh, you know, morality or a consistent code of conduct, okay? Let's just, let's just rip that Band-Aid off, okay? I don't think that people usually have that. It's never consistent. Also, you can still consistently be a piece of shit. Let's not forget, right? You can be a consistent piece of shit. Some people are. But like, he's, he's just wilding out. People abandoning their ethics to yell at Donald Trump. The fuck are you talking about? What did Donald Trump do? You have to weigh the consequences of people's actions and opinions and perspectives. If the only thing you care about with the Donald Trump presidency is about like how, mm, how rowdy the libs got, okay, you're giving the game away. You just have nothing going on, dude. This motherfucker was utilizing the Gestapo on millions of Americans whose immigration status was placed upon, uh, placed in limbo specifically because he wanted to undermine Obama's legacy. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. Except the Zahn obliviously always consistent. I mean, this is such a funny fucking take because, like, I am. Yeah, no, I, I literally am. I am actually, and have been for a very long time. Anyone who says I'm inconsistent is fucking out of their minds, I think. There's a reason why I can fucking use videos that I cut out from 2016. Like, literally, videos that I've cut out from 2016 about Jordan Peterson, transphobia, homophobia, bigotry, racism, police brutality, still, unironically, can be used today. I pull them up every fucking day so much that you guys make fun of me. You're like, huh, there goes the son again, stealing his own content. You know what I mean? Because he is uh, an existential threat to democracy itself. But don't you think it's not a cause, but maybe like a symptom? Like it's going to get, you said it got real weird. Maybe it's going to get weirder. Yeah, I think it's going to get weirder. <laughs> he's going to run again. You think it's he wins? Get weird. Well, he's running against a dead man. You know, I mean, Biden shakes hands with people that aren't even there. Just going to say, remember when you gave us all non-Bernie supporters shit for saying that Bernie going on his podcast was a mistake? Yes, Bernie going on his podcast was awesome. And I'm still right about that. That's so fucking stupid. Just like Bernie going on Fox News is awesome. Shut the fuck up. What? It was not a mistake. It was great. It was awesome. Should have done more of that. Yeah, when he gets off stage. Yeah. I think he's seeing ghosts. Yeah. You see him on Jimmy Kimmel the other day? No. Well, he was just rambling. I mean, he's, if he was anyone else, if he was a Republican, if that was Donald Trump doing that, every fucking talk show would be screaming for him to be off the air. And I'm, by the way, I'm not a Trump supporter in any way, shape or form. I've had the opportunity to have him on my show more than once. I've said no, every time. I don't want to help him. I'm not interested in helping the, him. The, the, the night is still young. We'll see. If I have him on, the night yeah. is still young? Yeah. You think I'll well, have him on? I think you'll have him on. Really? Yeah. Why do you think that? Because you'll have Putin on? <laughs> <laughs> and you're competitive as fuck. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I think ultimately, um, I mean, you had, you've had a lot of people that I think you, might, you may otherwise be skeptical, would I have a good conversation, which I think is your metric. You don't care about politics, so can I have a good conversation? And I think you, you had uh, like people, people like Kanye on, for example, and yeah. you had a great conversation with him. I think you, I, I think- uh, Yeah, but with, Kanye's an artist. Like, but Kanye doing well or not doing well doesn't change the course of our country. Yeah, but you don't, do you really- This is really interesting because like he's kind of admitting that he's not like the dumb himbo. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh. Like he he's just like perfectly aware. So motherfucker, how, what do you have to say about like all the white supremacists that you have on? 
What do you have to say about fucking revitalizing Alex Jones just because you're fucking friends with him? You literally had Alex Jones on. You dick rode him so hard, dude. It snapped off. Really bear the responsibility. Which we already knew, by the of way. Of the Come on. course of our country based on a conversation. I think you can revitalize and rehabilitate someone's image in a way that is pretty shocking. Look at the way people look at Alex Jones now. Because Alex Jones has been on my podcast a few times. Yeah, how do they, which direction? The people that have watched those podcasts yeah. think he's hilarious. And they think that he definitely fucked up with that whole Sandy Hook thing. Um, but he's right more than he's wrong. And he's not an evil guy. He's just a guy who's had some psychotic breaks in his life. He's had some genuine mental health issues that he's addressed. He's had some serious bouts of alcoholism. Oh my God. Some serious bouts of, you know, substance. Bro, I don't even need to watch these fucking videos, homie. I just don't need to watch them. I already know. I watched it in my fucking mind, okay? Well, well, well. Pre watch Piker is back, boys. That's right. That's why I walk away, motherfucker. I already gave you the details of the video. Substance abuse, and they've contributed to some very poor thinking. But if you know the guy, if you get to know him, like I have, I've known him for more than 20 years. And if you know him on podcasts, you realize like he is genuinely trying to unearth some things that are genuinely disturbing for most people. Like this is a guy that was telling me about Epstein's uh, island fucking decade ago, at least. He was telling me about it. I was like, what? You're telling me there's a place where they bring elites to compromise them with underage girls and they film them really like what cut the fuck out of here yeah. He's like no president clinton's been there everyone's been there I'm like what it sounds like nonsense and not only is it true but people keep getting fucking murdered for it did you see that latest clinton advisor that got murdered about yep. it yep yeah yep. hung with an extension cord shot himself in the chest 30 miles from his house and they're calling it a suicide. And now even Elon Musk is asking, where's the clientele list? Yeah. We should we should probably see who's been to that island. Yeah, we should probably see who's been to that island. And there's probably more of those kind of things out there that haven't been exposed. Yeah, but. Damn, bro. I wonder what he, wait, Elon? He's talking about Elon? About yep. it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Hung with an extension cord, shot himself in the chest 30 miles from his house. And they're calling it a suicide. And now even Elon Musk is asking, where's the clientele list? Yeah. We should we should probably see who's been to that island. Yeah, we should probably see who's been to that island. Yeah, you know why Elon's not asking that motherfucker? Because his brother's on that list, homie. His brother literally, Kimball Musk, straight up dated one of Jeffrey Epstein's gals, okay? Like he would go to Jeffrey Epstein's Manhattan uh, block, apartment block. Come on, dude. I wonder why Elon's not pulling that shit up. That island. And there's probably more of those kind of things out there that haven't been exposed. Yeah, but sort of uh, to push back, in you, you, you had those conversations with Alex Jones. Wouldn't you be able to have the same kind of conversation with Donald yeah, Trump? That's the problem. Reveal, no, it's not the problem. Oh, this is my favorite type of lib take. America does something Americanly. What are we, a bunch of brown people? It's so funny. It's like, damn, dude. Damn, there goes America again, being like the Taliban. Who trained the Taliban? Who gave the Taliban weapons relevance? What did Afghanistan look like before we... uh? Started beefing up the the uh, the Mujahideen. I mean, at the time we had to do that. We had to do that. We had to do that. We had to do that because we had to fucking fight against the USSR. You know what I'm saying? Who did that? I don't know. Who continues to fund Wahhabist schools by buying oil from Saudi Arabia? Who could it be, Bet Midler?
Well, the answer to Saudi Arabia one is OTK. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, dude. <laughs> who's still who's still defending Saudi Arabia? Offline, <laughs> offline. Sorry, <laughs> OTK. Someone said offline TV. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Isn't this Islamophobic? I mean, the point is. They're saying, like, these guys are fundamentalists, right? They're fundamentalists. <clears throat> That's what they're trying to say. The Islamophobic part... The Islamophobic part comes from, like, likening what American Christian fundies are doing. They're just like, oh, this is how Muslims are, you know? Look at them. Look at the Muslims. Wait a minute. I just realized something. Hold on. What does OTK stand for? One true king. One true Allah. There is no God but the one God. And his name is Allah. Oh, shit. MashaAllah. Yeah, the king of kings. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Yeah, they're talking about the one true king, i.e. Muhammad bin Salman. Yeah. The K in OTK is for Muhammad bin Salman. All right. You revealed that Alex Jones is a human being. Yeah. He's fucked up. He has demons in his head. He's obviously chaotic all over the place, but there's some uh, wisdom to the perspective he takes on the world, even if though he is often full of shit, he's able to predict certain things that very few people are, are willing to bring up. So isn't Trump the same way? Fucked up person, ego man. I just can't take Lex Friedman seriously because he just straight up looks like that Turkish assassin guy. Remember the one that killed the Russian ambassador? Like, I will never, I will never be able to look and see anyone other than the Turkish assassin, dude. Oh, how long has it been? Sure, he died. I don't know them. Gör müdüm mü? Talk to my mom on Twitter. I'm not making that up. Maniac, uh, whatever personality things you can talk about, isn't it worthwhile to lay it out? Like who's going to, if you listen to interviews of Trump, who has the balls to call him out on his bullshit? Chris Wallace did. Uh, no, calling out somebody on their bullshit is easy when you're just being adversarial. But as a person who is Wait, what? genuinely empathetically trying to understand yeah i think you're really good at that like you pulled him in i don't in. know if he would genuinely be there you know what i'm saying yeah. like i think he would be putting on a performance and that's probably, you don't think you can break through that in like 30 minutes i'd need more time than that <laughs> and he doesn't do any drugs that's oh, the thing about alex yeah, yeah, you can yeah. get alex high yeah get him drunk and he'll start talking about inter interdimensional child molesters yeah, you know, and then you you get the real Alex. Or maybe maybe you have somebody else on as well to introduce chaos, like Bro. Alex. No, 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 no. They have to be uh, one. I one. would have to be just me and him. I would have to. That would be a focused thing. I would have. Bro, I'm sorry. Come on, dude. Come on, brother. This guy saw this fucking dude. And literally was like, this is my aesthetic forever, okay? A reach? How? Oh, okay, motherfuckers say I'm face blind, but like, come on, dude. Literally look.
Just white dudes, you're literally racist. introduce chaos like alex no 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 they have to be uh, one i would have to be just me and him i would have to that would be a focused thing i would have to like really take time with with trump but also i'm not um well versed enough to politically to know yeah. all of the corruption that's been alleged and to understand what the the whole russia gate stuff what what's real like how much of it it's clear that there is more than one organization that's involved in communicating with Russia before the 2016 election. So it was, it's pretty clear that the Clinton administration was involved. It's pretty clear that, that the Trump administration had some communication with some people in Russia. It's pretty clear that Hunter Biden had some. Okay, seeing Joe Rogan out of his element where he's like very clearly trying to impress a person like Lex, he believes is like, a very intelligent person, right? Because Lex Friedman is like the perfect, like, dumb guy, smart guy, right? Um, and, and Weeby, you are right. He is even more boring uh, than he is uh, on his own podcast lately. But also, it kind of shows, like, he, he's giving the game away. Like, he just knows exactly what the fuck he's doing. Yeah, you're five billion times smarter. No, I'm a fucking idiot myself. Like, he's just basically saying, like, no, I get it. Like, you can revitalize someone's image, and I intend to. <laughs> He's like, no, it's great. It's great when I do that, actually. And I will continue doing that. I'm a fan of doing exactly that. Calling it now, Asan, you sound sneerfully. Get that COVID test. Dude, I have been. I've been getting COVID tested. What the fuck does snarefully mean? Why don't you think Lex is smart? I don't know. I mean, he might be smart when it comes to comp sci shit. I actually don't know. I actually don't know uh, his, his comp sci background at all. I can't speak on that because I am a fucking idiot, especially when it comes to comp sci shit. Right? But I have heard him speak on, you know, certain matters. No, Azan, don't insult Lex. Stop. What? Dude, literally. Oh, my God. 19 month subscriber over here, bro. Come on. Ugh. Every fucking, every few years, there's a new guy like this presents themselves as a fucking centrist that every fucking stem lord is like, no, this time it's different. No, this time it's different. Every fucking year, bro. Every year, there's a new one. It used to be Jordan Peterson. Then it was like Tim Pool for a brief moment. He couldn't like keep up the mirage as long. And now it's like, now it's this guy. And it's always from the Joe Rogan pipeline. There's always a guy that STEM lords are like, nah, man, actually like this guy's different. He is a uh, truly brilliant. And he is really like careful and considerate on issues that, you know, Lex has the same problem as all the Manosphere intellectuals. They think that their prestige and expertise in one field makes them an expert in every field. Yeah. Comparing Tim Pool to Lex is crazy. No, I'm, 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 I'm admitting that Tim Pool could not keep up that grift for as long because he's like not as intelligent. Problem in astrophysics is not a poli sci major and neither is Lex. Problem is most of us know we're dumb and only hyper knowledgeable in one fucking niche. Yeah. Or be like me. Admit that you're dumb in every niche. <laughs> 